Hello, viewers. I am going to speak about SQL states. Before that, I want to introduce myself. I am Justin Marshall, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications. Now, I am going to handle about basic SQL statements. So, before that, we want to know what is meant by SQL. So, SQL stands for a structured query language. So, it is used to communicate with the database. So, by using SQL, we can able to communicate with the database. And according to ANSI, American National Standard Institute, it is the standard language which has been used in the relational database management system. And SQL statements are used to perform some tasks where we can able to retrieve the data as well as we can able to update or insert. So, this kind of manipulations can be done by use, using SQL statements. Next, we are going to see what are the different type of SQL statements. So, SQL statements can be categorized into five types. So, select is called as data retrieval and insert, update, delete, merge is called as the data manipulation language as such as DML and in data definition language we are having create, alter, drop, rename and truncate and in data transaction language we are having commit, rollback and save point. And finally, in data control language, we are having grant and revoke. Now, I am going to execute some of the important statements which we can able to done in SQL. Now, I am using Oracle environment. So, here we are going to execute some statements. So, first of all, I am going to execute the create statement which is used to create table, user and other objects. So, for now, I am going to create a table. So, cre create table and we have to give the table name. So, here I am giving EMP and we have to open the bracket. Next, we have to give the column name. So, I am giving the column name as EMP number and we have to specify the data type. And next column, I am going to give it as EMP name. I am going to specify the data type as varchar and specify the memory space. For number, it is not necessary to specify the uh, memory space, but varchar we should give the memory space. And then next, I am going to give the field name as date of birth DOB. I am short written as a DOB and I am using the data type of date. And finally, I am going to give the column salary and specifying the data type as number. So, we have to close the bracket and we by giving the semicolon, the query gets in. So, by giving the enter, we are having the table name already exist. So, if you want to modify this table name, we can use edit command. So, edit command will open the notepad where you can able to change your query uh, get wrong. So, here all things already EMP table exist, I am going to give it as em employee. So, by going to the file menu and save, we have to close this notepad. Now, if we give the slash, right, now we are getting the message as table created. So, next statement, I am going to execute the insert statement. So, after creating the table, I am going to give the insert the values. So, I am giving insert into table name employee values. So, for the field of EMP number, I am going to give 101 and name I am going to give as Joseph. So, for worker, we have to give within the single course and for date of birth, also we have to give the value within the single course. For example, 12. So, month we have to enter as May. And year we can give it as in two digit. Now, I want to give the value for salary. So, I am giving the value of 25,000. So, we are make made a mistake. 
So to overcome the mistake, again we can go for the notepad and we have missed the comma here. So I am giving the comma and again by saving this file, we can rectify the error. So slash now the row gets inserted. So in this way we have to insert the values to the table and now suppose since one row has been inserted, if I want to view that information, we have to use select command. So select asterisk from table name. So by giving this query, we can able to get the output what we have already inserted in the table. So suppose if we want to update some information in the table means update table name. So employee set, we have to use the set keyword set salary equal to 30,000. Now I am changing the salary for Joseph where we have to use where to specify the particular person by giving the where EMP number equal to 101. So now we are getting the message as one row updated. So we can able to see by giving the same select statement, select star from employee. So now you can able to see that salary from 25,000, it has been updated to 30,000. So since the window gets full, we can able to give the command as clear screen. So by giving this command, we can able to clear the screen. Now suppose if you want to add another one column means we can able to use alter command, alter table, table name, employee, add address. So I am adding a new column address. So I am giving the data type. Right now the table has been altered. So to verify that we can use select or we can give desk command, desk table name. So here you can able to see the address column which has been added at the end of the uh, employee table. Okay, these are the sum of the queries which has been executed now. Thank you for watching. Thank you.